Now, let's get into the three musketeers here. Now, uh, I, I've been saying that, you know, there's four, three or four guys on, on YouTube, maybe a lot more. Uh, it's been uh, constantly saying ne negative things about black women. In fact, they make their money on YouTube by saying negative things of black, about black women. You know, now, the first one is this guy, Sotomayor. Now, Tommy Sotomayor. Now, I know this guy. I've seen him. He never, he's never seen me. But I was in the crowd when he was in the crowd, and somebody pointed him out. Now, I don't run in this crowd or whatever. I was just in the area that day. Somebody pointed him out. I heard him. I think he was making a speech or saying something or whatever. Tony, this guy is a smart guy. This guy's a smart guy, and he's, he, he has a large following. He has a large following, and he's, you know, he's up 8 million or so uh, hits and all this. So this guy's not a dumb guy. This guy's a smart guy, and he, he, he do, you know, a lot of radio and other things, uh, uh, personal appearances, and he, he got some sponsors, and, and he's a smart guy. He's making his money, and he's and all those things and stuff like that. But we are talking about the survival of the race. And we are talking about a lot of people are following this guy. And because he, if he says something, you know, people are listening. He's got a lot of following. And a lot of his following are women. Because... <laughs> Maybe they know, maybe they don't know. I mean, he, a lot of his following are educated women. And this is the problem. The problem is these guys are demeaning, demising, downgrading women, calling them all kinds of black this and black that and all this. You know, uh, maybe they're not aware of what they're doing. Maybe this guy's not aware of what he's saying. Maybe he's not, to, totally not aware, or maybe he just don't care. But we as citizenry have to look at this. We as citizenry have to look at this and ask ourselves, where is this in the short run, on the day-to-day? -day? Well, he's just kidding around, but in the middle run, a lot of other people are picking this up, and more people every day. This guy is getting bigger and bigger, and, and his following is getting more and more. He might be solid. He's not going to hurt anybody. But the people that's following him, if he say he'll beat a woman down, he'll beat a woman down in the street, he'll beat a woman down like he'll beat a black woman down in, in, in the street, then this other guy who is not so smart that's listening to him what is he going to do he's going to go and beat somebody down in the street a lot of time is not the primary element so do my your the secondary element and the third the Trisha element the quad element the fourth guy down the fifth guy down and as this stuff gets started and it goes on and on and on, then, of course, Sotomayor, hey, I didn't do it. You know, hey, I, I didn't do it. I'm not responsible for what these people do. They go do all kinds of stuff. I'm not responsible and I'm not going to take responsibility. If these people go out and hurt somebody, that's their business and let the law handle it. I didn't do it and I'm not responsible and all this. But the young woman is dead or, 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 or hurt or whatever, in our race, our race. Well, I hate black women and this and that and this. Everybody's got some uh, dark, darker person in, in their family. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's having an influence on the larger group. So maybe we ought to write Sotomayor, say, sweetheart, maybe, you know, you ought to cool it. Maybe you could make your money, make your money, 
but do you have to stomp on the race? Because we think they're just stomping on women or stomping on street women, but <laughs> it's not the case. These guys started stomping on street women. Now they're moving up to, 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 to uh, educated women. But that's Tommy Sotomayor. Mayor. Let's look at the next guy. Who's the next guy? Uh, this is uh, Michelle 100, Mitchell 100. Now, this is the intelligent guy. Now, now uh, uh, Mayor is a, is, a, is, a, is a quick, snappy guy. You know, he, you know, he's smart and sharp and all this stuff. Now, the educated guy is, is this uh, Michelle 100. Now, he's an older guy. He's not as old as I am. Cause I'm, I'm real old, but uh, you know, he's a more mature, middle guy. He don't make as much money as Tommy, but he's doing okay. And we're looking at the money thing, so <clears throat> he's got a bit of a he's got a following, and his following is growing a little bit, you know, and all this stuff. Now he tried to approach the thing from an from an academic perspective. You know, it looks like he never says. He never says, but it looked like maybe he went he went to night school or something, and uh, they had a class in psychology. <clears throat> it looked like they had a <laughs> looked, looked like they had a class in psychology, you know, and and uh, he learned how to debate and this and that and all this stuff. And he's bringing this to uh, YouTube. But the problem with this guy is just like this other guy. Uh, a lot of folks are listening to him. They think he's intelligent. They think he's smart. And he's got, because he said that most black black men got a, a brain the size of a dehydrated BB or something like that. But uh, his argument is, 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 is great for college. He got an argument. He says all this stuff. It's great for college, but it's not good for the street. And why is that? He speaks in one dimension. He speaks in one dimension. He come up with with some topic and he talk and he defends that with with with, with uh, uh, papers and all this other stuff, you know. But he's he only says things that are obvious. In other words, somebody that got hit by a car and then 